Hi, this is Amy and I want to make a quick video to show you how to add photographs and other images to your Canvas account. I know this has been a little frustrating for folks who want to add pictures of food and other items into the discussions. So this is a step-by-step -step video of how to. So it's a little different. So what you're going to have to do is here I have just logged into my canvas.net account. This is the whole my whole account homepage for Canvas. And I want to actually go to my personal files in Canvas to upload my photos there first. So this is separate from the actual Celebrating Food and Wellness Around the Globe classroom. So you're going to, up in this upper right hand side, you're going to click on your name. And double click on that because I'm on a Mac at the moment. And your personal settings, your perf personal profile is going to pop up here. And if you look on the left hand side, we have an option for files. So we're going to click on files. And my personal files in Canvas are going to open up. So this is where your profile pictures are so stored and any other um, items and documents you've had to upload in previous courses. So to add a new photo, we just click this blue upload button in the upper right hand side. And that should open up a finder window or a, um, so you can find the photo on your computer. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this picture, Boys in the Lake. And I'm going to go down and click Open on the bottom right. And as you can see, the photo is already uploading. I'll just take a second here. And now it's done. So there it is in my list of files. So now it's in my files in Canvas. And now I'm going to go ahead and add it to a discussion. So we're going to go over to Courses and Groups and pick Celebrating Food and Wellness Around the Globe. And here's the home page for that course. And I want to go into week one because I want to upload it to that introductory discussion. So here we are, week one. Discussion one, tell us about yourself. I'm just going to click on that link. Here we are in the discussion. I'm going to go ahead and click on reply. Oops, sorry. Reply to add a new post. There we go. The box is opened up and I'm going to say hello or hi. Here is a beautiful photo of a lake. Boy, I cannot type today. Sorry, in Washington. And then I want to add the photo. So there's this little tiny icon of a tree and the alt text tells you that it's an embedded image. And that's what we want to do. We want to add an image. So we're going to click on that. And we have a couple options. First, I'm going to show you how to do this personal photo that we just uploaded into Canvas. So you're going to click Canvas because that really is referring to your Canvas files. So click on Canvas. We're going to go to My Files. Oops, there we go. And there's that picture, Boys in the Lake. Just click on it. I check my alt text for accessibility. And I'm just going to add the name of the lake and I'm going to hit update. And boom, there's my photo. It landed in Canvas. If you want to ever see more, you just click on this little thing in the corner here, which it's not going to let me do, to pull it bigger. Oh, there we go. And that picture is way too big. So I'm going to just, I clicked on the picture and I see those little bars in the corner and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Whoops. Come on. There we go. So it doesn't take up the whole discussion page. So that's one way. Um, and then if you decided that you wanted to upload an image that you found on the web, here's the first box that auto opens is you can just put a link right in there. So you find a photo somewhere, paste it in there. It's a great idea to add some alternative text so someone who might be using a screen reader can understand what your image is that you just uploaded because they won't be able to see it. Um, and then you would also just hit update. And the third option, which is also really great when we're talking about general food, is this one that's titled Flickr. And Flickr is an, a file or a photo sharing website that has a lot of Creative Commons images, which mean images you can use without worrying about copyright. So here you can just type in vegetables, hit enter, oops, and a bunch of vegetable pictures are going to pop up. You can look around, find one you like, click on it, maybe double click on it. There you go, pop right into the discussion. And you can resize that too. So when you're ready, post reply and give the computer a second. And it's processed and there's the photo of the lake and the vegetables. I hope that was helpful.